Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Culture News. My name is David Cerrero, and I have the pleasure to have today over the phone a very, very important person from the music industry. He is a, a first-class music producer, producer, production manager. His name is Alfred Williams. People know him by Al T A L N T T E T. He is one of a kind. He has for three decades of experience and massive knowledge in the realm of production and has worked on television shows such as Jay Leno, Ellen DeGeneres, and has toured with groups such as Cool and the Gang, Ludacris, Teddy Rowland, Teddy Riley, Backstreet, and Guy, just to name a few. His company, the Up Group IMC, is an audio video system integration provider and is the first minority company to obtain Bose professional distribution deal. Ladies and gentlemen, you have understood correctly. We have over the phone someone very important. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Alfi, how are you today, sir? Great, great. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm very, very happy to have you uh, over the phone. Thank you so much for being uh, with us today. Um, so, for the people who don't have the pleasure of knowing you, would you be so kind to tell us, first of all, where are you from and what brought you to, to the music industry? <laughs> um, I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Um, what brought me to the music industry was uh, just uh, I had a natural gift for playing and the love of music. I think James Brown was my first inspiration. Um, Around at that point, it just I caught the fever and the bug and took off from that point. Uh, I was playing keyboards and producing and playing bass guitar, and then I, you know, went in. I got stuck at that point. I was stuck into the business, you know. And do you think that to be um, with, um, I, I would say, to, to understand so well musicians uh, such as you do, like guys like couldn't again? Do you think that it's important? To play mu to play a music instrument as well. Yeah, I think me playing uh, right now. I'm in. I do more a lot of production, a lot of the production managing, like advancing shows, uh, uh, engineering, and by playing, being a musician, it kind of helps me to understand the artist a lot more uh, and the musicians because I get a feel of what, I know exactly what they need, and then I also know the technical side, how to get what they need. Um, similar, like my deal that I got with Bose, I was out with Ludacris and we were doing a show. Um, and at the show, they had a Bose PA system there and the rep was there. So a guy came to me asking me, you know, could he, um, if I could mix on the system and, and do a short little survey, they'd give me, you know, some product. So, you know, being me, I was like, I'm, I don't want no small product. What I want, I want you to give me product for my entire group. <laughs> and that's how it all started. So they, you know, they really liked the way I made the system sound. So they asked me to come up to Boston. So they flew me to Boston. And when I got there, um, we sat down at the table and I kind of was honest with them about their product. I thought they have amazing product, but I thought the marketing sucked. And so they were kind of shocked. So all these VPs are sitting around as I'm talking. And I told them, I said, hey, look, the biggest problem is you got other product lines that have great marketing, but their product doesn't match the quality of your product. And they were, so they were sitting there looking at it like, you guys got to get away from the, the golfer mentality and reach out to the common, you know, workers and try to market to that, that, that demographic. And, uh, so as I was sitting there, I saw one of the guys across the table who was a buddy of mine, another musician. <clears throat> he was a rest of both. I said uh, they wanted to cut me a, a distribute a partnership deal, which in in the music world they you know, it's, like, it's like an endorsement. So they get the artist to promote all their product, but they still charge you, you know, a fee to purchase the product. So I told the guy I didn't want it, and so they were all shocked. I said I don't want your product. I don't want to be a partner that way. I would want a distribution deal. So at first they were like, well, we can't do distribution deals. You know, our deals are set up for, you know, X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z. And I was like, no, I want a distribution deal. So I actually got the first distribution deal and changed the way they get their distribution deal. So, you know, especially to a minority. I'm the first minority that got a distribution deal on their professional line. So that, that was the, the catch to that. I think 
think wow. I may have over answered your question. <laughs> but no, no, and it, I paraphrase it, a lot of it. No, it, it's uh, Alfie. Is I am impressed by uh, first of all, not only your your, your passion for this uh, for for this profession, but also your dedication to serve artists. Because let me tell you, when you perform, you, you have the whole show in your hands. You know, because it's yeah, it's the artist who is doing the show, but. <laughs> You know, you, you cannot be on the stage relaxed and, and fully express yourself if you don't know that you have a good guy in the back uh, or on the side or in front, you know, who is handling everything, you know. So you are, uh, in my opinion, more than 50% responsible of the well-being of, of, of the show and the success of the artist. And now we know that um, a lot of the success of an artist goes through the quality of his shows, the quality of his concerts. In the old days, you know, it was the recording. But now it's really through the concerts. So people like you are, are golden, you know, <laughs> uh, 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 people. And, and I appreciate also that not only you're doing for the artist, not only you're doing for yourself, but you're doing also for the future artists by helping this, is great company, uh, uh, Bose, uh, professional, uh, and, and this is really, really, really important. So we really appreciate, uh, everything that you are uh, doing on the behalf of all the people who are working in the bank, uh, as we say. So now tell me about the company, the Op Group. Something is telling me it's a wonderful idea. So what, what is your goal with that company and what was your idea? Uh, uh, originally to uh, to create this company and the purpose of it? The, the purpose of the company was to um, be able to uh, help other um, practical, it's, it's really to help other engineers and practical operations and use of how to do production. Uh, a lot of times when people want to understand how to do production, they don't, they always have a, someone either too technical and they don't have anybody who's practical. I've been doing this since 1987 professionally. So, um, I just have a lot of years and a lot of experience in how to, you know, have a successful show. It was something you said just a moment ago. You had mentioned that, you know, about how important it is for sound. I just did an article on who's the real artist, the, the singer, or the engineer. And so it's waved a whole bunch of flags because the, the, the point of the matter is that both of them are very important. And a lot of times, they, a lot of artists don't realize how important it is to have a great engineer because when you have a great engineer, it helps you keep working because people have, you have a great show. So the whole production has to go well. Um, but that's mainly the purpose I answered. I started the company was to basically be able to help other churches and other organizations that may not have the funds to be able to have audio installed in their buildings. So what I do is I try to help them save money by giving them a reduced rate because I have these distribution deals. And that so that's that was the main purpose of me starting this the business. Matter of fact, it was a it was a church uh pastor friend of mine and he had get, they had overpaid for some sound system and I went to help them and I would just go and help because I got tired of seeing people get taken get advantage of. So I was like, let me go and help them save money so that way we can, you know, get their sound sounding good and everything else right. So I basically, that's how the company started. He trusted me so much. He was like, look, I'm going to give you X amount of dollars to fix our stuff. And I was like, okay. And then there we are. We, the company took off from that point on. I am absolutely amazed by, by, by what you're doing, and I really thank you for your uh, generosity. So before we start to say goodbye to, to each other, wh what is the next thing? What is the next uh, gig for LP? Because uh, you are constantly uh, working. You are very, um, I, I would say, very flexible because you're working for, for, for television shows. You're also working for different bands, different artists. And, and let me tell you, I, I'm sure that artists, you know, are uh, confessional, you know, uh, with you before a show. They tell you they're scared or not. They tell you, uh, they ask you for advice. They, I'm sure after the show, what do you think? Was I good? Was I, you know? So I'm, I, I'm, I can't wait to read, uh, uh, and I hope you're not going to be offended, but to read your memoir, you know, 
to, to read your biography, <laughs> to, to read, you know, all, all these stories that you must have had all over uh, uh, these years. Um, I, I really can't wait to read them. So is there something like this that is in the project? And also, what what is your next project, your next, your, your next thing? Because I cannot imagine that someone of your talents will, will stay like this and just enjoy life. I'm sure you want to always go to the next step. So t- t- tell us if there are any memoirs uh, and on, on the probably on the on the plan, and also uh, what is your next gig? Okay, well, um, I gig every week, <laughs> so I'm gigging three to <laughs> four times a week. But um, I'm, my next bigger biggest gig, I would say, is I'm going to do engineer the World Cup. So I leave on the 13th, going to Russia to engineer the World Cup. Wow. Um, but the, the biggest thing that we're getting ready to do now, we're putting together an association of engineers, and we're going to travel throughout the U.S. and have conferences um, because, you know, and, and educate people on production, the simple applications of production, how to use certain pieces of gear, how to apply it, you know. So um, we we found out that, you know, I trained quite a few engineers who came out of school and they needed some practical use. They had all the technical information, but they didn't have know how to apply it in a practical application. So uh, we're going to go through and, and see what we can do to help them. And we're going to also, um, while we're doing that conference, we'll be having a couple of festivals involved with it and try to get those guys trained and let them go and mix the same uh, the festival, too, and they can actually put the, you know, the knowledge to work. Wow. Um, and so those, are the, those are the big things we're doing. Well, I hope you're going to take me with you to Russia, I mean, because it looks like it's going to be <laughs> a, a really cool event. Come on, you can go. <laughs> it's going to be a really yeah. cool event, I'm sure. Uh, my dear RT, man, I really, really appreciate that you're taking some time with us today, ladies and gentlemen. My name is David Sawiwa. I had the pleasure to have today on the Culture News, the very talented, and you heard it, uh, Mr. Al T, originally called Alfred Williams. Al T, he's the number one uh, um, production manager. It's even hard to put a name. Uh, uh, yeah. But <laughs> what he's doing, and he's the founder of the great company, the the OP Group. I'm sorry, the OP Group. Let me spell it for you. O P P. A group he has uh, the first minority company to obtain a Bose professional distribution deal. We say hello to the people of Bose, great company. Uh, it, it is a, a, an audio video system integration provider. The up company, feel free to reach out to these guys for all your uh, events. Uh, the summer is coming, so if there are any festivals out there, please reach out to uh, his, this guy. He's absolutely phenomenal, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much.